Hey YMCA family, it's Angela Williams, Wellness Director for the Ron Rosner Family YMCA. Welcome, I hope you're having a happy Thursday. This is your 30 minute Tabata. So we're even gonna do Tabata um, timed intervals for our warm up. We'll get in six rounds during this 30 minutes. Make sure you have plenty of space around you to be able to work out, no tripping hazards. Um, also have your mat, water, a towel, and all you're gonna need is a set of dumbbells. So um, we're just gonna use a set of dumbbells. Doesn't matter what size you have. Probably don't wanna go too heavy because we're gonna do a full upper body round with our dumbbells too. But if anything, you can always set um, one of the weights down and then do the upper body with just the one weight. So that's an easy way to just kinda take it down a notch and um, make sure that you're feeling healthy to do this uh, workout video today. Make sure if you've had any injuries or any ailments that you've been cleared for a doctor or by a doctor to do this workout. So, who's ready? I'm getting ready to start my time. timer. We're just gonna get right into it, okay? Even the warm up. so Tabata, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Ready? Let's do it. Here we go, first 20 seconds. We're just gonna do a little hamstring kick and reach. Okay, here we go. Knee soft, just don't wanna lock that leg out at the top. Think about exhaling as you bring the arm across and the foot up. Also try not to lean back too much. We want, for the most part, to keep the shoulders directly over the hips. Now we're not gonna do the rest in this first round because generally we'd work 20 seconds, rest 10. All right, here we go, arms up. Elbow tap, rotate each side. Exhale as you squeeze elbow down to make connection to the thigh or the knee, depends on flexibility. Just wanna get you thinking about breathing with your movements. All right, 10 more seconds. And we're gonna go next to a little squat with a reach and a lunge with a reach. One more. Here we go. So I want you to squat down reach up, squat down, reach up. Now maybe you're not ready for a super deep squat yet and that's okay, so maybe quarter squat, reach up. Eventually, as you warm up, you'll be able to squat a little bit deeper and thinking about the simple principle of a squat, sinking the hips back and down, weights in your heel, push through the heels, squeeze the glutes at the top. Last one. Now we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna lunge, reach at the top. Switch legs every time. And we're working on bending both those knees into a 90 degree position or less. Push off that front heel, drive straight up, reach ahead. We're gonna sneak in a little cardio. All right, so we're gonna go high knees, but when you think about side to side. So, it's the arm, opposite leg. It's just a little step side to side. Good, you got it. We got 10 seconds. Little touchdown squat coming up. Last one. Good, separate feet. Now I want you to come down, touch the ground, do a little lift off, squat down. You don't have to squat that low, maybe just tap the thighs. Or option, squat down, lift on the toes. You got it, here we go. 10 seconds. Tabata, six rounds, we're getting it all in in 30 minutes or less. Last one. All right, skaters. So I want you to step side to side. Doesn't have to be some huge range of motion. Step and reach. Hop or not, you can simply step side to side. You got it, 10 seconds. And then last one, we're just gonna jog it up. Three, two, one, good, just jog it out. All right, so five more rounds. First round, 
we're gonna do legs, okay? We'll go legs, that continues our warm up. All right, rest. So, grab your set of weights. We got squats. We're gonna load at the shoulders, unless that's too uncomfortable for you. You can load at the sides. Then we're gonna drop one weight, do figure eights, and then pick back up, squat with a high pull. So, here we go, ready? Take it down and up. Simple, effective. Squat, drive through the heels. Make sure you're engaging through the abdominals. Belly button's pulled in nice and tight. Good, all right, set one weight down. Now, with dumbbells, it's a little trickier to do that figure eight. So, if you're having a hard time getting the weight behind you, then simply do squats here, okay? Simply do squats here. Maybe you have a kettlebell at home. Kettlebells are very useful and functional with figure eights. I don't want you to get caught up and wasting any time. Use what you have at home. All right, grab that other weight. Now we're gonna go squat to a high pull. Little combination move. So we're gonna squat down, high pull up. Squat down, high pull up. So elbows go out, weights come to the outside of the ribs. Adjust your feet as needed. And set one weight down. Pop squats, a little bit of cardio. We're just gonna hold the weight in two hands, vertical, horizontal, whatever feels good to you. You're gonna sink low. You're gonna pop the legs in and out. Now, for those of you at home that don't want any impact, step, stay low, step, touch, side to side. Come on, halfway there. A little heart rate kick here. And we're gonna do everything one more time. In three, two, one, recover. All right, so back to the top. Squat. Load those shoulders. Here we go now. So you want to think about breathing, exhaling all the way up to the top, halfway there. One more. All right, set one weight down. Remember, figure eights, unless your weight's too big or bulky, then just do your goblet squat. Here we go. Sink down. Now that figure eight, just a sneakier way to try to develop deeper squats, because you gotta sink lower to give yourself space for your hand and the weight. Last one. All right, bend your knees. Grab your other weight, squat, high pull. In three, two, one. Sink down, high pull up. Now, if you have heavy weights at home and you wanna make this one fluid movement, you can. Gives your upper body a little bit of help, a little bit of push through the legs. If the weights aren't that heavy, separate them into two movements. Recover. Drop one weight. Here we go, y'all. Last 20 seconds. And you're gonna get a 20 second recovery. Ready? Pop squats, go. Remember your option from that first time through. If you need to step side to side, step side to side. Four, three, two, one, recover. All right, 20 seconds. Grab water if you need it. You can just actively step side to side. Breathe in through the nose. <sighs> Exhale out through your mouth. All right, now, upper body, bicep curls, tricep kickbacks, high pulls, rows. Ready? Here we go, curl. Here's your chance if you need more recovery. Push pause on me, take a couple more breaths, and then when you're ready, rejoin. Feet are under the hips, hips are under the shoulders. Last one. 
Good. So I'm going to turn to the side. Kick back. So you're going to sink in the legs a little bit. Tuck your tailbone slightly. Pull in that belly button. Push the weights past the hips. So I don't want you to look straight down. I also don't want you to look up at the camera with me. I want you to kind of have that neutral neck, neutral spine. So maybe look a foot or so in front of you. You got it, breathe out as you push back. Now stand tall. All right, palms face your thighs. We're gonna do high pulls. So just like we did with our squats, but just breaking it down and doing that top part. Exhale, lift up. Elbows are right in line with the shoulders at the top. Shouldn't be any higher. We want to get parallel to the ground. We don't want to overextend and over pull. Last one. All right, so bent over position one more time for our rows. Same thing. Sink in the legs, slightly tuck the tailbone, abs in. Squeeze, elbows are bent, and we're pulling the weights right to the hips. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades together as you exhale. Maybe envision there's a pencil there, maybe a tennis ball. You're trying to squeeze. Last one. Good, push through the legs. It's going by fast. Turn your palms out. Here we go. Back to the top, bicep curls, go. We realize pretty quickly that in Tabata, the 10 seconds rest goes by fast. It's really just enough time for us to change positions, maybe to pick up weights, set the weights down, and we are moving this entire time. We're getting the maximum benefit for our 30 minutes. Recover, kickbacks. Tuck the tailbone, abs in tight, ready, and go. Not a lot of movement through the lower body. Kind of like a statue on the bottom. Just the arms pushing back. You could almost feel and hold for just a second at the top. Triceps fully engaged. One more. All right, high pulse. Roll the shoulders back, reset. Three, two, one, here we go. Exhaling as we engage the muscles and bringing the weights up. Taking that breath in on the way down. Last one. All right, rows. Last time. We're gonna get that 20 seconds rest. Here we go. Squeeze. If you had heavy weights, you could always do this one arm at a time. Or if your weights are too heavy, you can go singles. So right then left. Last one. All right, set it down. Let's do cardio, okay? Full cardio round, standing mountain climbers, repeaters, squat jumps. Now, if you wanted to weight your repeaters, you can, and I'll give you that option. Start with one knee up, one arm down, here we go. So it's pushing and pulling, like you're climbing that ladder, knee, opposite arm. Try not to lean back, bringing the knee up, maybe 90 degrees, come straight out from the hip, you got it, five, four, three, two, one, recover. Now, repeaters, you're gonna sink low in one leg, other foot's back. If you wanna weight this hand, you can. Reach out, bring it in and out. But notice, I'm not doing a lot in that standing leg. Just sinking into it, letting that quad muscle activate, start to feel that slow burn. Stay nice and low. Three, two, one. Push through. Shake it out. Should feel that burn. Squat jumps. Ready? Here we go. Hips back and up. So it's a nice little push off and a soft landing. If you want and you need that option, 
Squeeze up on the toes, still squeezing that butt, squeezing the thighs together. Three, two, one. All right, last one till we go to the top. Switch legs, repeaters other side. So find that deep position first and go. So the knee should track right in line with the ankle. You should quickly feel that nice low burn in that quadricep muscle. Come on, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Back to the top. Standing climbers, repeaters, squat jumps, repeaters. Ready? Knee up, go. You can always march this if you need a couple times to just step instead of jump. Come on, halfway there. Yes, you can. Maybe smaller steps. Three, two, one, recover. Woo! All right, repeaters, sink down. Nice and low, arms out, go. Sometimes I get the comments of, oh, it seems so easy, but I guess you can't hear me heavily breathing. I don't know, but I'm in it with you, and it's just as hard for me to move and talk recover. Squat jumps, other set of repeaters, and we're checking that box for our cardio wrap. Separate, little wider than hips. Here we go, backing up. I want you to land soft. I want you to land already bent in the legs. Letting the legs take the impact and not any of your joints as much as possible. Recover. One more 20 seconds. Gotta be even. Gotta get this other leg. Here we go, step it back. Ready? 20 seconds, come on. As we get tired, it's harder to stay consistent, but we have to push through. You're gonna be all right. That burn goes away as soon as you stand. In three, two, one, recover. Walk it out actively, maybe side to side. Sip of water. Again, you can push pause on me anytime you need it. Take a few more seconds to breathe and recover. Yes? All right. One weight. Here we go. Reverse lunges. Step back. Switching legs every time. It's gonna be kind of a little lunge round, but we're gonna do jumping jacks in between. I love switching it up every single set, every round. One more. All right, set it down. So, regular lunges, jacks. Side lunges, jacks, curtsy lunges, jacks. You get it, right? Here we go. In and out. Always an option with your jacks. Looking for a lower impact option, it's here. Doesn't mean it can't be dynamic and explosive. Just means that it's easier on our joints. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights. Side lunges. But we're gonna stay in our lunge position, weights here, okay? And you're gonna go side, center, side, center. Adjust your feet so that as you sink back, your ankle and knee and hip are all in line. Still driving off that heel, still sinking that booty back. Last one. Set your weights down. Strength, cardio, together in the same round, always hyper beneficial. Go, jacks. It makes our heart rate stay up the entire time. Yes, you can, stay with me. You're over halfway there. I'm glad I got this clap because y'all be working much longer than 20 seconds. Recover. All right, curtsy lunge. I'm gonna load my shoulders, okay? 
and I'm gonna step and lunge and switch each time, okay? So that curtsy lunge is just a tad bit different than our reverse lunge. We're stepping back slightly at an angle, but your knees are still in line with one another. So just make sure you're not overstepping. We're not quite bowling. Last one. Set them down. Jacks in three, two, one, go. We got one more lunge variation, one more jack. Recover one weight this time, okay? One weight. I choose to lower my weight when I'm doing front lunges because a lot of people usually overstep and they lean too far forward and then it's that heavy weight that's driving in to the toes and your knees. So think about stepping out and then sinking down. Weight in the heels. All right, set it down. How are we doing? Last set. Jacks, go. We only got one more Tabato set. One more full round, and it's gonna be core. Three, two, one. All right, 20 seconds. Uh, you're not gonna need your weight, so just make sure they're not in your way, okay? We have plank, jack, push-up, boat to bicycle, heel taps, mountain climbers. So, we're gonna go push up, plank jack, simple as that. Push up, plank jack, okay? Knee option, push up, extend to the toes, plank jack. Go, you're already going. Time is counting. Four, three, two, one. Flip it over. All right, so, favorite of mine, Bicycle crunches, bring it down, lower back on the mat. And you extend a foot, bring the elbow across. You got it. Make sure there's space between the chin and chest. You can go as fast or as slow as you want, as long as your form is there. Good, drop the heels, bring your head, neck and shoulders on the mat. Slide those heels in a little bit towards your bottom. Then you're gonna lift the head, neck, and shoulders. You're gonna use your fingers, tap the outside of the heels, okay? Heel taps. Working upper abdominals and obliques. Chin and chest are separated. Keep your eyes up. You got it. But don't forget to breathe. So often, we hold our breath during core. Last one. Good. Flip it over. This time for mountain climbers, not regular, we're going cross body. So knees coming across, step the feet back, and it's going across. Little bit of rotation through the hips. You got it, you're over halfway there. Come on, you should be feeling it in those obliques, feeling it in the lower back, and break. All right, one more time through. Yes, you can. Push up, plank jack. Ready? And go. Push up, plank jack. Push up, plank jack. Remember, knee options. Toes, okay? Just because you're on your knees doesn't mean it's easy, but make sure your heels are towards your backside. Extend and recover. Flip it over. Bicycles, come on. You really technically only have one more minute of work, okay? 320 seconds, here we go. Across, across. As you get tired, sometimes your form starts to break a little bit. Make sure that lower back stays glued to the mat. Come on, four, three, two, 
One. How are we doing? All right, heel taps. Slide your heels in just a little bit. Look towards the ceiling, head, neck, and shoulders lift, and then you're gonna tap, go. Come on, 20 seconds. If you need to, take a quick second and then rejoin. But you got this, you can do anything for 20 seconds. Come on, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Rock and roll yourself up. Give me everything you got left for this last 20 seconds. Hands under shoulders, feet back, hip width apart. You're driving that knee across. Go, come on, go. Don't shortchange yourself, don't quit early. This is the end. You just need to give just a little bit more. Four, three, two, one. Drop the knees down, sink the hips back. Let's recover just a little bit. Press your palms into the ground. Separate the knees, give space for the chest in this nice, Child's pose. Good, bring it up. You can always stay there a few more seconds if you'd like. We'll stretch on the ground. I'm just gonna come a little closer to you. You can see I'm sweaty, hair's a mess, right? 30 minutes maximized every minute, every second. Feel free to do this workout again, maybe in like two or three days, but high intensity interval training, you know, two or three days a week is pretty good. I wouldn't recommend that every day. It's a lot of stress on our bodies. So want to make sure that we're getting a nice, well-rounded exercise regimen, which also includes rest and maybe a stretching or a yoga day. A lot of times people think we just gotta go, 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 and that if we're not breathing hard or we're not sweating a lot, that it's not beneficial. And of course that's not true, right? Our bodies can't sustain hard intervals and a lot of beating and pounding on our bodies day in and day out. So a well-rounded exercise program. If you want more information on that or you have questions on that, just email me, give me a call. I'm here to help and assist you and we have lots of programs and wonderful, fabulous personal trainers that can help you with that. All right, bring your elbow across. I hope you've enjoyed this workout. We're gonna also have it on our YouTube page, so please share, like, comment, all that good stuff. Give us some feedback, constantly um, changing things up. Please let me know if there's other videos, other workouts you wanna see. We're always changing our virtual content to make you guys happy. Good. Let's breathe it out. Deep breath in. Big breath out. One more in here. And empty. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this Tabata. And I will see you in the morning for our body weight workout and core. Hope you have a great afternoon. Take care.